Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase. In this video, we'll demonstrate the online conversion of a non partition table to a partition table. This functionality was introduced in Oracle 12.2. In previous releases, we had to do this using Exchange Partition or the DBMS redefinition package. Now it's a lot simpler. We create a non partition table called T1 with three columns. ID, description, and created date. The ID column is the primary key. We create an index on the created date column. We populate the table with 10,000 rows of data. The ID column contains values 1 to 10,000. The description just has a standard line of text, including the ID value. The created date column contains dates spanning three years. We'll repeat this table creation between examples, giving us a clean starting point each time. When we check the data in the table, we see the rows are split approximately evenly between the years. This alter table modify command converts our non partition table into a partition table. We arrange partitioning using the created date as the partition key. We have separate partitions for 2018, 2019 and 2020. The online keyword makes this an online operation, so queries and DML can continue during the operation. This is a small table, so it partitions quickly. These operations on large tables may take some time to complete. We gather table statistics and check the table partitions using the user tab partitions view. We can see the three partitions, each containing approximately one third of the data. We check the indexes using the user indexes view. The primary key index is not partitioned but is valid. The index on the created date column has been converted to a partitioned index. The user end partitions view allows us to display information about the index partitions. An index with a partition key in the column list is a prefixed index. By default, all prefixed indexes are converted to locally partitioned indexes. All indexes, partitioned and non partitioned, are left in a valid state at the end of the operation. Let's show another example. We drop and recreate the test table and populate it with data in the same way. This command is similar to the previous alter table modify command, but it's missing the online keyword. The end result will be the same in terms of partitioning and indexing, but this is no longer an online operation. We drop and recreate the test table and populate it with data in the same way. In this example, the first part of the command is similar to those shown previously, but we've included the update indexes clause. This allows us to alter the way indexes are handled, including partitioning and storage options. In this example, we keep the index on the created date column as a global index. After the operation completes, we check the indexes and see the index on the created date column is not partitioned. When we check for index partitions, as expected, we see there are none. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.